It's food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we're going to be taking a look at a brand new burger from McDonald's. It's their triple cheese burger. And it's £2.19 on the saver menu. So I heard about this. I went straight down to McDonald's. Fancied this straight away. So here it is. Patty. Cheese, patty, cheese, patty, cheese. Look at that. Then, okay, it's not the biggest of, of, of patties. It's, it's a little bit thin. But for £2.19, in this day and age, 2020, <clears throat> what can you expect? Let's dive in. Mm. Really tasty. For a long time, I never got the gherkins. I was like, oh. They can come straight out the burger. I love gherkins now in burger. <clears throat> Lovely relish on the top there. It's it's a classic. It's a it's an American classic burger, really. And it's for me, for the price, this will do me all day. There's something about McDonald's that just works. From that slightly sweet roll to the really good quality. I love the beef in the McDonald's. Love the beef in their burgers. It's really tasty. You, ne you never get any gristle, any kind of limbs of fat. It's all ground down really well, <clears throat> the burgers. The cheese has always been a bit of a letdown, but... In terms of flavour, there's not much flavour in the cheese. But if you were to change that cheese for anything else, it wouldn't be a McDonald's burger. It's that mouthfeel, it's that kind of creaminess that the cheese gives. Mmm. And I tell you what is... is Quite exciting. We've all had a pretty tough 2020. This, as far as I can remember, this is the first new McDonald's product launch this year. They closed for a little while, two or three months, didn't open with what was going on. Then they reopened with a limited menu. They just getting themselves back to normal whereby they're bringing out new products again. And it's really exciting because as a food reviewer, and of course, be around food reviewer, it's nice to be able to get out there and, and try these brand new products. Mm. A little bit of onion with the relish. Just really tasty. And the gherkin, the gherkin makes it. And although the patties are quite thin, it's still quite quite a big mouthful. You kind of gotta like strain your jaw to get it round it. And that's that's a satisfying thing in itself. Mm. Look at that. <clears throat> I 
I don't think you'll need chips for this. Chips would be nice, but I think you could make do, make do without the chips. Pepsi mind, <clears throat> I would love a Pepsi with this. Okay, so we're nearly ready to rate it. For two pounds nineteen, that is a real filler of a burger, and I don't know if McDonald's have brought it out <clears throat> because of where we're heading in terms of recession and stuff like that. Maybe they brought out a burger just to to fill you up for cheap. That option to do that, if they have done that. Thank you very much, McDonald's. I really appreciate that. For £2.19, playing with a receipt for some reason, just double checking is £2.19. For £2.19, that is one of the best, if not the best, burger I've had in a while. If you rocked up at your local burger van on the side of the road or in an industrial estate and you asked for a triple triple cheeseburger for two pounds and you said I got two pound nineteen there you go they, they'd laugh at you they'd laugh at you okay it's massively produced it's done really quickly they've got it right the way down to a great price point but it's not bad it's not bad it's a real good burger for your money I'd like a coke with it I reckon I could fit fries in but you could probably do without if you wanted to but I like that burger enough to get it. That is a, it's a really tasty burger. I really enjoyed that. The gherkin, the relish, the onion, the cheese, the burger. The cheese is a bit of a letdown. It, it always is though. The cheese is um it's just it's just haven't got that kind of flavour that you want from a from a slice of cheese. But as I mentioned, <coughs> pardon me, it wouldn't be the same without it. It wouldn't be the same without it. It's that creamy mouthfeel that the cheese gives. Slightly sweet roll, very tasty. I like that enough to give it a stone the crows, nine out of 10. So nine out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Pardon me. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Pardon me. Boom. Cheers.